everybody. My name is Michal Forishek, also known as Misov, and now I'm going to present a solution for problem J, tile cutting. In this problem, we, are, we have some set of rectangular tiles, and we are cutting tiles that have the shape of a parallelogram. So these two sides are equally long and parallel, and these two sides are equally long and parallel. And the question is uh, that for a given area of this parallelogram tile, there can be many different shapes that produce it. Uh, the, all of the dimensions, of course, have to be integers, so there's only fi finitely many shapes. And now we are interested in many different areas, so we are given as the input two numbers, a low and a high, they define an interval of areas. For each of these areas, we are supposed to compute the number of different tiles of this shape with the given area and take the maximum out of these. Uh, so how to approach such a problem? Uh, the key observation is uh, to write down a formula for the area as follows. So suppose we label the sides like this, A and B, and C and D, then this is also B, this is A, this is C, and this is D. So this entire rectangle has the area A plus C, which is this side, times B plus D, which is this side. And now we have to subtract the triangles we are cutting off so this triangle and this triangle are both A times B over 2, so this is minus AB, and then minus CD for these two triangles. So we are left with the following formula. The area of the tile is the sum of two products, A times D plus B times C. So if we were solving this problem for one fixed area, what you can do is you can iterate over all values of this, and each time you take this value and the num you count the number of tiles ways it can be divided into a product of two numbers. So this is the number of divisors of this value. You take the number of divisors of this value and you uh, multiply those two counts together and you add it up and you get the result. And this is actually one valid way of solving this problem. You can realize that uh, with this range being only up to 500,000 numbers, uh, you can uh, pre-compute all of the answers, store enough information in your source code the source code size limit is 128 kilobytes. So you, for instance, divide this entire interval of areas from 1 to 500,000 into segments of length 50. For each of them, you pre-compute the maximum, and then you do the additional computations needed in your code, actually. So that's the entire solution. But so far, the more popular solution is one that involves more mathematics. And the trick is that here we are combining two different things, and we are doing a convolution. So we are taking all possible possibilities how to decompose this into a product, we are taking all possibilities how to do this. So we will start by solving the easier task, just taking a single number and decomposing it into a product of two numbers. So this is just for each number, count how many divisors it has. And we can formally write it down as such a polynomial, the number of divisors of n times x to the n, and sum over all interesting values of n. And now if you take the square of this polynomial, the coefficients of the, poly of the result will actually correspond to the convolution, to the thing that you take two different numbers and you combine those counts together. So you just have to compute the square of this polynomial and this can be done quickly using the fast Fourier transform. And actually many of the top teams have the fast Fourier transform in their code libraries and we have seen submissions that are using it already. And that's it for this problem. Thank you.